Yes. <clears throat> Hello, girls. Hi, Susana. Hi, Patricia. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Ah, fine. Thank you. I am a little tired because uh, the emergency was uh, uh, really crowded. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't change my uniform. You didn't no. change your uniform. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> so it was a busy day at the hospital. Yeah, very busy. Sometimes it happens, right? Busy. Yeah. And you Some as a days are quiet. <laughs> Some days are, yesterday was quiet, right? Yesterday was very, very tranquil. <laughs> yeah, because you were very, you were very relaxed yesterday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she was very relaxed. Very, oh, okay, yes. <laughs> because she danced uh, Zumba. <laughs> she was doing Zumba, it's true. Yes, I danced Zumba because I have the, uh, uh, this lipidemia, cholesterol and triglycerides high. And then the nutritionist uh, mm -hmm. told me that I need to, to do exercise and a healthy diet, diet, diet. Me too. I need to do, I need to do some healthy changes in my life. <clears throat> Not doing in, my health. Uh, uh -huh. In two weeks, I lost uh, eight pounds. Really? How? Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Because I need to lose a lot of weight. A Zumba lot. is very helpful <clears throat> if, you, if you want to, to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Zumba? Yes. Oh. I'm gonna try. I was doing Zumba for uh, from Korea, right? So it was actually very nice because it was uh, Zumba from other from other uh, country from other continent. From other country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was actually really good. Hi, Cody. How are you? Hi, teacher. <laughs> Pretty good, and you? Very good too. Doing amazing today. Mm, really? Yes. I'm glad to hear you. <laughs> oh, to hear that. Excellent. Yes. Now we're gonna. Uh, how was your day? Uh, today has been. Ah, uh, it's been a very long day, to be honest. Very long day, but. Yeah, it was good. It's Friday. So tomorrow I have to work too, right? But let's see what happens. Uh, it was the same for me. I, I, hmm? oh, my day was so long too. <laughs> and I felt <laughs> anxious okay. to finish the day. Good evening, Liz. What? Okay, so today, right, we're going to uh, go ahead and talk about holidays, okay? And specifically about one holiday that I like very much, right, which is Thanksgiving, of course, right? Thanksgiving is a, is, is a holiday for the U.S. It's not a holiday in, a, in our country, right? So that's going to be our topic right, for our last day of classes. So let me put it here. We're gonna use, we're gonna use a traditional color for this holiday, which is brown, right? <clears throat> and we're gonna start here, right? Thanksgiving, 
right? That's Thanksgiving. The Thanksgiving, yes. So, but before we start, right? Before we start with Thanksgiving, right? Because we have a lot of things to talk mm -hmm. about. I would like to ask you like um, some general questions, right? About holidays, right? About holidays in general. Today, we're gonna do two things. First, we're going to do some questions. We're gonna work with a reading and also a video. Okay, so we're gonna do like three things in this in this hour. Hopefully, we will have time, right? So, let me share these questions for you. Mm -hmm. Oops, too big, too big, too big, too big. I have today's questions, right? These are for everyone. So what's your favorite holiday? When is that holiday celebrated? Do you celebrate that holiday with your family or with your friends? Is gift giving a part of that holiday? And what do you like the most about that holiday? In here, at the very beginning of the class, what we're gonna do is to talk about your favorite holiday, right? That's the first thing that we're gonna do, right? We're, gonna, we're not gonna talk about Thanksgiving, but about your favorite holiday. Look at the five questions that we have, right? And tell me <coughs> your different answers for this, right? Think about your answers for each one of them, right? Think carefully, right? <clears throat> think, think carefully, I'm gonna just adorn here. This is a turkey. <clears throat> Teacher. Yes. Uh, all May I start? That, uh, uh, sorry. sorry, all that question we we for each other. We are um, we're going answer to answer depending the what holiday we choose. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, okay. We have five questions. Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ready? Cody looks ready. Let's start with Cody. Okay. The first question is, what's your favorite holiday? Mm -hmm. My favorite holiday is Christmas, Christmas, I think. Christmas Day, okay. Christmas Day, yes. And when is that holiday celebrated? I'm confused because uh, the Christmas day is the 25, right? In the United States, it's on the 25th of December. Yes, that's but, right. But here we celebrate 24th. On the 24th, yes. On the 24th, yes. So what is and the holiday? day? The 25th or the 24th? The 24th. <laughs> okay. And I celebrate with, with my with my family, but I like the feeling that I, the, no, I don't know. And since uh, October or November, mm -hmm. I feel the Christmas <laughs> around me. <laughs> and I like, I don't know, but I like when, when the day is um, a little bit cold at night. Mm -hmm. I like the breeze and and this day I'm go I go to the to the church at night and I like to celebrate there. And the next question is is gift giving a part of that holiday? Mm -hmm. Uh I, I can understand this question. Is give giving a part? Gift giving is like if people give give gifts to each other. Ah, uh, no. In my family, don't do that. But 
Um, for myself, I I buy clothes for me to to wear this day. <laughs> yes, I like this. <laughs> I like that to buy or to to go to shopping. Now <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter is is if for for one night or two hours that <laughs> I I got to see other people, but I like to to wear a new no, new clothes. To wear new clothes. And, uh -huh. yes. What do you like the most about that holiday? Oh, I I think I request that <laughs> that question because I like the the, the food. First of all, <laughs> the food and um, the new, the new and the tequila <laughs> and tequila. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly this day, I go to the to, um, this to is my, my auntie house <laughs> and I I like to to drink two or, or many shots. <laughs> or many shots, okay. <laughs> yes, and that's, that's Okay, perfect, Cody. Thank you so much for sharing about your favorite holiday, right? Really appreciate it. Who else wants to share? Let's see, someone else? Me, teacher. Okay, Azucena, tell us. Well, uh, my favorite holiday, is the same as Telas Cori, it's Christmas Day, because um, my family and I, uh, we are uh, Catholic. And for, for us, this uh, day is very special because we celebrate the birth of the most important person of, of our lives. And we talk about Jesus, right? And when is that holiday celebrated? Well, uh, to tell him the truth, the, 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 the day, uh, correct, is 20, 25 December, right? Because 24 at night, at midnight, uh, we celebrate only um, that we call Noche buena. But at the, at the next day is the real day that the Jesus uh, born. That's, that's why we celebrate on, on December, on uh, 20, 25 December. Uh, I celebrate this holiday with my family. Um, only that the family because um, friends, and, and some friends, but uh, close friends, right? Um, we used to, to share uh, some gifts, but only uh, for the kids, for the, for the kids of the family, because <laughs> um, for us, uh, we only, we don't think on, on, on us. We, we think <laughs> uh, only, <laughs> <laughs> in kids um, the most I like about this holiday is that it's a, a, the most special day of the year if, um, for my little child for my little uh, son he enjoy a lot this, this holiday because he start at um, at the beginning of, imagine, at the, the beginning of October or before, he started to say, mom, mom, we, we need to, to the lights, we need to the tree, <laughs> we need to the gift. <laughs> and he wants, he, he's anxious to decorate uh, all the house and because, uh, for my family is um, just a, a little custom that I consider is special that we 
try to involve him uh, since he was um, one year old, I remember. A and he helped, uh -huh, and he helped to decorate the, the, the Christmas tree and something like that. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Azucena. Right? Okay. Very good. You're a toddler, I guess you're a toddler since you're one to three years old. Now he's five years, years old. So he's a kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's a toddler. He's a I, I think he's a toddler, right? Um, I think, let me check. I'm, I'm oh, like no. <laughs> Toddler ages. Uh -huh. uh, he, told, he told me, Mom, I'm, I'm a um, niño grande. <laughs> I'm not just a baby. <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's actually a, 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 a big kid now. A right? big kid. Okay. Yes, because a toddler is one to three years old. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. okay. Like this. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Now, we have this one right here, right? For... Uh, we have talked about Christmas. Anybody else wants to share before we continue? Me, teacher. Okay, Patricia. I will try. Uh, when my favorite holiday is to, <laughs> uh, it's holiday is, pardon, um, it's Christmas day. Christmas uh, day. I like Christmas uh, because I am on vacation, on long vacation in my, <laughs> in my job. <laughs> and I, I have the opportunity to enjoy more than the others uh, uh, holidays. And uh, we celebrated the holiday, uh, the Christmas, um, 24, 20, December twenty-four. Okay. And because it's the it's the Christmas Eve to twenty-five, uh, like uh, said Riva, uh, Azucena, is the um, the right day of nativity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, we celebrate. Uh, that holiday uh, Christmas with my family. But uh, here where I live with my family, we don't have many, uh, many parents, many, uh, many sorry. relatives, friends? Relatives, yes, relatives. And we have to, to travel to Chalatenango, to Suchitoto, because there is, um, a, in these places are my family and my family husband. And my husband's family, sorry. Uh, so we really, uh, we, we are, we were traveling <laughs> the to Chalatenango, Suchitoto, y Zacatecoluca. <laughs> and then, uh, really, we don't visit friends, only family. And I, everything, everything I pay for gift or for all family. <laughs> Me too. I, <laughs> and I, we, <clears throat> uh, our custom is uh, uh, give a gift from my sons, from my husband, and uh, um, some godson or goddaughter, and. Um, is it's really enjoyed for, because uh, every everyone is enjoy uh, to receive uh, a gift in that uh, and holiday. And what do you like the most about that? Ah, uh, the most uh, what I like the moment when we. 
give hopes. That is uh, maybe uh, an emotion, emotional um, Emotion. moment. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Because uh, my mother and my father, uh, they both are the deal. And uh, that uh, in that moment, uh, we, our moods are very sad about emotion and sad uh, is, I don't know how to explain the, the in a my feeling in that, in that moment. <laughs> uh, when when they were live, uh, if I I don't uh, with them, I call them. I call them and um, mom, happy happy holiday or um, papa. <laughs> and that's, uh, now they are aren't with, with us, uh, but we try to enjoy um, anyway. Ah, and that, that is my, my favorite uh, holiday. holiday. Okay, very good. Thank you for sharing <clears throat> that intimate moment, Patricia, right? Okay, thank Beautiful you. moment with everyone, right? With your family, with your kids, that you give gifts to your kids or gifts to yourself. Right, or that you remember special people in your family very well. Because that's what holidays are about, right? It's all of them have a special moments. Very good. Now we're going to move right to the holiday that we're gonna talk about today. Like I said, it's one of my favorite holidays. I, I would say it's the second one, right? Because I, I do love the food. You will see, you will see about this. So First, we're going to actually do a little bit of reading, okay? We're gonna do reading, but we're going to listen to the reading as we did last time. And then I will ask you just simple questions, okay? And we can talk about that. So the people that didn't speak in this moment, get ready because I will ask you questions, okay? I will ask you questions. So let me show you here. Dun, dun, dun. Can you see my computer where it says Thanksgiving? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, look at this picture. This is actually the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York, right? It has been an annual event since 1924, right? And each year it draws millions of expectators. So this is like, uh, do you remember on January 1st here in Salvador, we'll watch El Defile de las Rosas, yes, the Rose Spray. So this is kind of similar, right? The only thing is that it's about Thanksgiving, right? That's the main topic, but it has different, uh, different, uh, what, uh, cars there, right? So let's, let's listen to uh, this. Thanksgiving. You listen to that? Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm gonna yes. put the script right here so we can. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a very special American holiday. On the fourth Thursday in November, Americans come together with their families and friends to share a special meal and give thanks for all the good things in their lives. Typical foods on Thanksgiving are turkey, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes and gravy, stuffing, cranberry sauce, green beans, and pumpkin pie for dessert. What is the origin of this great day? In 1620, a group of pilgrims left England and came to America in search of religious freedom. There were 120 of them, men, women, and children. They started their new life in a deserted American Indian village in what is now the state of Massachusetts. But half of them did not survive their first cold, hard winter. In the spring, two American Indians found the people from England in very bad condition. They didn't have enough food, and they were in bad health. Squanto, 
an English-speaking American Indian, stayed with them for several months and taught them how to survive in this new land. He brought them deer meat and animal skins. He showed them how to grow corn and other vegetables. He showed them how to use plants as medicine. He explained how to use fish for fertilizer. He taught them many skills for survival in their new land. By the time their second fall arrived, the pilgrims had enough food to get through their second winter. They were in better health. They decided to have a Thanksgiving feast to celebrate their good fortune. They invited Squanto and neighboring Indian families of the Wampanoag tribe to come to their dinner. The pilgrims were surprised when 90 Indians showed up. The pilgrims did not have enough food for so many people. Fortunately, the Indian chief sent some of his people to bring food to the celebration. They brought deer, fish, beans, squash, cornbread, berries, and wild turkeys. The feast lasted for three days. This was a short time of peace and friendship between the Indians and the pilgrims. Now on Thanksgiving, Americans eat some of the traditional foods from this period in American history. Now you see why it's my favorite holiday, right? A lot of food. <laughs> okay, so we just uh, read this information about Thanksgiving. I have three questions for you right here, right? I need you to tell me true and false based on what you remember. Number one is for Archimedes. Number two is for Gracina. And number three is for Sylvia, right? Let's see. You have this statement and tell me if it is true or false, okay? So Archimedes, we start with you. Me? Number one. Okay, American Indians helped the pilgrims through their first winter in America. That's true. That's true. Yes, they did, right? Well, not with the first winter, with their second winter. The second. Yes, but well, let's see what happens. And number two, Gracina. Yes, one to help the pilgrims learn about their new land. If, I don't know if it's true. True, okay. And Sylvia, number three. The pilgrims invited 90 American Indians for a feast of Thanksgiving. It's false. It's false, right? Yes. This was like a Salvadoran party. You just invite two people and five arrive to your house, right? Yes. <laughs> so we check out, right? Let's see what happens. Yes, you have true, true, and false, right? Very good job. So American Indians helped the pilgrims through their first winter in America, right? Actually, in the first one, some Americans died because they didn't know how to survive the United States, right? They didn't know, so they needed to learn a lot. The name of the Indian that helped them is Quanto, right? He actually taught them a lot of things, right? And then, you know, the pilgrims learned a lot, so they wanted to think Indians, right? With food and not too many Indians, right? Thanks God they brought more food, right? Now, I have two more questions for you because we're gonna keep on talking about this. So let me go ahead and mark this. Just give me a moment. Okay, we have two, two questions here, right? Uh, Patricia, can you read question one and Veronica, question number two? Okay. Um, number one, reread the last line of the second paragraph. Why do you think, 
why, why do you think there was a short time of peace between the Indians and pilgrims? What do you think happened afterwards? Mm -hmm. On Thanksgiving, Americans give thanks for, for all the good things in their lives. What is your life are you thankful for? Okay, very good. Now, this is not a religious um, holiday. It's something more like it's spiritual, right? So let's read the last line of the second paragraph. In the last line of the second paragraph, right, they tell us, uh, the feast lasted for three days. This was a short time of peace and friendship between the Indians and the pilgrims. Hmm. What do you think happened afterwards? Why do you think they say that? I think, teacher, that when the pilgrims uh, learned about to survive in that in the new land, mm -hmm. they came, uh, they became in, uh, egoista. No. <laughs> and they think uh, that they don't need any more help, any, any help. And I think that then uh, became in a, uh, in a, a competition. Exactly. Because, because I think for for the reading, uh, the resources are are um, few. A, a few, a few resources, and they don't want to share any more food or abilities. Exactly, Sylvia, very good, very, very good. Actually, yes, that's what happened, right? They became selfish. So they attacked the, the Indians. So that's why, you know, they start, pilgrims started a fight with the Indians and everything went bad, right? That was a short time of peace. Very good, excellent answer, Sylvia. What about number two? What are you thankful for? Veron, eh, Rosa Luz, and then Veronica. One Thanksgiving, American give thanks for all the good thing in their in their life. What thing thing in your life are you thankful for? Mm -hmm. What thing uh, could you be thankful for, Rosa, in your life? Uh -huh. And my my family and my work. Okay, very good. My work, my job. That's one thing we can be thankful for. Very good. Okay. I'm I'm thankful for my family, right? For my pets. Right. Actually, they are my kiddos. Right, my pets, my two dogs. Right, I'm thankful for my family, my husband, and I'm thankful for having food on my table every day. Right, that's what I'm thankful for. What about you, Veronica? What are you thankful for? I thankful for my family for the meal. And give thanks for the health. Okay, very good, excellent, right? So we see, we have many things that we could be thankful for right, on Thanksgiving. Now, I'm gonna show you right now, I'll stop sharing this, and I am going to show you the history of the holidays, the history of Thanksgiving, according to History Channel, right? So let me show it to you.
We're gonna watch the video and then we will ask questions afterwards. Can you can you see the video? Yes. 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 To most Americans, the Pilgrims of Plymouth, Massachusetts are the iconic inspiration for today's Thanksgiving feast. After the winter of 1620 killed almost half of their people, the colonists formed a relationship with the neighboring Wampanoag tribe, who taught them about fishing, planting, and hunting. By autumn of 1621, the colonists had collected enough food to feed the community through the coming winter. The Wampanoags joined the colonists for a three-day feast in honor of their bounty. The feast probably did not include our modern Thanksgiving staple, turkey. More likely, the colonists and Wampanoags dined on roast goose, along with corn, codfish, and lobster. This 1621 harvest meal is now commonly thought of as the first Thanksgiving. Yet for later generations of colonists, New England days of Thanksgiving had little to do with the 1621 harvest festival. Theirs was a religious holiday, descended from Puritan days of fasting, prayer, and giving thanks to God. Every autumn, the governor of each colony would declare days of thanksgiving for bountiful harvests, victorious battles, or drought-ending rains. In 1777, the Continental Congress decreed that all 13 of America's colonies celebrate a national day of Thanksgiving that year in celebration of their victory over the British at Saratoga. By the mid-19th century, many states celebrated the holiday. However, the date could vary by weeks or even months. A determined magazine editor named Sarah Josepha Hale set about establishing a national Thanksgiving day. She passionately believed that such a day would help unite a nation headed towards civil war. Hale began a one-woman letter-writing campaign, urging politicians to establish an annual day of Thanksgiving. Her efforts were finally rewarded by Abraham Lincoln, who saw the unifying potential of the holiday. In 1863, four months after the victory at Gettysburg, he declared the last Thursday of November to be Thanksgiving Day. By the 20th century, Thanksgiving was a welcome day of leisure from a six-day work week. In the 1920s, the National Football League was formed. In an effort to boost attendance, the fledgling Detroit Lions devised the concept of a Thanksgiving Day game. Parades also became a Turkey Day tradition, and department stores quickly saw their value as a kickoff to the Christmas shopping season. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade began in 1924, and year after year, millions of New Yorkers braved the cold to watch the festivities. Most of all, Thanksgiving is about family. With modern life moving faster than ever, Thanksgiving gives us a day to take a collective breath, reconnect with loved ones, and remember just how much we have to be thankful for. Okay, okay, okay. So what are your thoughts about Thanksgiving now? Now that we have read and we have watched a video, right, about this. For Lincoln, he celebrate, uh, it was declared the fourth Thursday of November, right? Yes, exactly. For a, the great, uh, the great, it, uh -huh. it's correct to say. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the, the full, it maintains the, the dish, turkey, sweet potato, green, green peas, or green beans, green beans, green beans, green beans uh, blueberries, and I don't remember. Pumpkin. What else? Turkey. Pumpkin, yeah. Pumpkin. Pie pie. Of pumpkin. Yes, pipe of pumpkin. Mm -hmm. This is the dessert, right? Yeah. Okay, very good, very good. Right. What else? Tell me. Uh, 
Miss? Yes. I understood that the sense of the, the, the main um, sense was to share. Yes. In, in peace, but now have a, a, a religion, uh, a sense of religion. Yes, in the past, in the past, when they started Thanksgiving, it, there was a sense of religion. But nowadays, it's more like the time of for sharing with your families or with the people that you love, right? But before, it was more religious because of the pilgrims, right? They celebrated that in church. It was like very similar to what we do for uh, Christmas. Right, exactly, as I said, that. what we do for Christmas, it was very similar. But nowadays, it's more of a time of sharing. And the most uh, important thing that you do, right, before you eat is to thank, uh, be thankful for something in, the, in that year, right, during that year or during that moment, right. So that's why, so it was very religious before, but now it's more like just a time for sharing. Okay. That's right. Mm -hmm. okay. It should be religious, to be honest. <laughs> it, it should be, right? It should be. But, mm -hmm. but there are many, in, in the United States, there are many religions, right? It's like a Catholic is just a part of people. Right, then we have Christians, then we have people from uh, Asia, people from uh, Middle East, right? Oof, a lot of religions there. So we don't have just one. It's not like El Salvador. El Salvador, we, have, we are divided like in Christians and Catholics, right? Just two. Mostly, we only have two, right? I have met like five or six Muslims here in El Salvador and then nobody else, right? So very well. So I have some questions for you that we're going to share. And yes, the food actually is perfect, right? Perfect with food we have, oh, besides the turkey, pumpkin pie, gravy, mashed potatoes, right? Many things. Let me show you here, right? The questions that we're gonna share. How do you say agridulce? Sour. Sour. Yes. Okay, thank you. Sour. Oh my God, it's loading. I have these questions for you. And there is one that we're going to learn. That one is also known in El Salvador, right? Okay. We have our second part of questions, right? And we have this right here. First, why do Americans celebrate Thanksgiving? We already know the answer. What do you know about the origins of Thanksgiving? Who were the pilgrims? How do Americans typically celebrate Thanksgiving? What kinds of food are associated with Thanksgiving? When is Thanksgiving celebrated? Sylvia already answered that. What foods were served at the first Thanksgiving? You already know that. What is Black Friday? What is Black Friday? And what do you know about the tradition of pardoning the Thanksgiving turkey? And what are some common Thanksgiving decorations? So these two, these two are for investigating, right? for investigating. Now it's 8.45. We're gonna have like five minutes to share, right? Right, to share all the answers. We already have the answers here in mind. I said, Susana, that, ah, I know the answers. Right, I see Lacina that she already knows the answers. <laughs> so let me put the let me put the questions here. Or well, I will send the questions to WhatsApp. 
If you don't mind, right? And we're gonna make the groups, right? Let me see here. My dear little colleagues. Okay, I send the I sent the, the questions. We're gonna make groups five minutes and then we come back and share the answers. Okay. Five to six minutes. We only have seven participants. We're gonna make three groups. Let's go. Let's go. Luis, Silvia, Veronica, you will be together. Cory and Asena, Gracina and Patricia. Let's go. Five minutes. Five minutes to share and then we come back. Me send me a, a the group again, please. Yes, 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 yes. I will send you to another group and then I will send you back to your correct group, okay? Okay. Go. Okay. You got it? She, she's I'm here. really? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, I didn't know the history about Thanksgiving, to be honest. Yes, I think a little bit is about the pilgrims and Indians. Oh, it's really? just <laughs> and uh, the pilgrims. Uh, I think they become like. Rosa Lu said, I think, become a selfish and egotistical with the Indians. And then, then they learned to, to survive, I think. The, but the I'm not sure. Or, or American. No. The, the American, the pilgrims, I think the pilgrims is, is, is the Americans or not? Yes. I mean, the thing is that uh, the real Americans, the real Americans were the Indians because they already lived in the US. The pilgrims, they were like very similar to what Cristobal Colón did to us, right? It's the like a group, right? Yes, they invaded. Like a tribe? Uh, yeah. They, uh, it's like it's like it's like Colón that he in, that he invaded our our uh, uh Central America, right? So it's uh, like, they didn't belong to the US. The real the real US people were the Indians. Were Indians, yes. Were Indians. And they were colonized. Colonized? Yes, the pilgrims right. colonized the, the, the Indians. Colonized. Mm -hmm. the Indians actually, they were Interesting. From England. Yeah, <laughs> from England and from French. Oh. <laughs> wow. But they, but they um, didn't kill, didn't kill the Indians, right? Uh, yes, actually, yes, the pilgrims actually did uh, kill the Indians. Kill the Indians? Oh. So bad. I, I think uh, and they um, had a different custom. Mm -hmm. They were from England. They were from a, another country. They from they were, the pilgrims from, came from the southwestern of England to the United States. Mm -hmm. To oh. oh, that's why. It's like here with Cristobal Colon in America. Uh -huh. Exactly. Like teacher said. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it's a really sad story, but uh, right now is, I think that, I don't know how to say, um, Ah, 
que la ponen con palabras bonitas. Ah, yes. Yes, that's right. Okay. Many things, for example, if we talk about the uh, the the woman, the woman international day. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, is another uh, sad. Story. Actually, it, it was a uh, uh, a tragic day. Uh -huh. um, in the factory to in the factory yes, yes. Many, many many women, women died uh -huh. it, it was a uh, a creepy story uh -huh. uh, <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> because like they were fighting uh, for their rights rights and equality that's why that's why many women we don't like when they say um congratulations on no. your day <laughs> uh -huh, no it's not for that exactly uh -huh. yeah. because many women suffer and and die to and die to in order to achieve the the rights that we have that we have now exactly mm -hmm. Okay, I think yes. we should go, right? Because it's been six minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we don't talk about the we didn't talk about the things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but <laughs> we were practicing English. But the point is to talk in English. Yeah, yes. that was the point. And we did. That we practice. <laughs> okay. Okay. <Yes. laughs> <laughs> it's only the three of us now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Maybe the others will have the answers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe other can tell us about the, the Thanksgiving history. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, and what is the Black Friday? Mm -hmm. I think this question it doesn't make sense for me in this in, in this topic <laughs> it actually does it, it actually does but that pleasure is in october no it's in november yes it's actually the day after thanksgiving wow uh -huh. That's okay. Black. Why here? We cannot hear you, Susana. Ah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She was oh, very excited. <laughs> and we can't read the lips. <laughs> no, I was talking with myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, uh, I was thinking. <laughs> On Black Friday, and uh, that we have this day in in our country in El Salvador, just a few years ago. I remember. Yes. Uh -huh. For for us, is is a new day. But in the United States, I think I realized that they always have a Black Friday, and he has the the day in a different day than us. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Actually, it's the same day. Is oh, actually have, the same yeah, day. It's ah, the same okay. day. I didn't know that. <laughs> you have Thanksgiving, like Sylvia said, the fourth uh, Thursday of November, right? That's Thanksgiving, and Friday is the the the, the next day. Friday is Black Friday. So, oh, really, okay. but when we talk about Black Friday, it's like for reals. Black Friday in the U.S. Here we don't have offers. We don't have. No, we don't have no. The, the, no, no, at all. Uh -huh. If the, you go the there, shop, you will see. All is the, is the business. Just it's business. It's business. Play I'm with our mind. <laughs> they play. They. They no scammers. Huh? They is no. They, they is They this is scam. Scam. Yes, this is scam. They scam. Ah, they scammers. Yes. What is that? Totally. For example, notice this. 
if you go to what to um, Simang, you go to La Curacao, places like well, La Curacao actually has offers because they started Thanksgiving in El Salvador, uh, Black Friday in El Salvador, La mm -hmm. Curacao. But the other the other places like Prado, like uh, a small uh, businesses. If you go there and you see a pair of shoes, for example, Nike pair of shoes, $100. They are $100 July, August, September, October, right? They are $100. <clears throat> it comes to November, right? On things on Black Friday, they are $100 or $19.99 and they just change the price and they put that before they were $200. Isn't that, it's not true. They were still $100, right? Just you change put, the price. Yeah, just change the price. They put a fake number, right? But that's- They what get the about. same benefits because uh -huh. they sell us, they sell us the, the thing at the same price. At the same They don't price. lose money. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We are lost money. <laughs> we lost money. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's a lie. Black it's Friday a lie. here is a lie. Exactly. Now, tell me, tell me uh, about the questions. We have three minutes, so let's see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what kinds of... I, uh -huh. tell us. I don't know what means pardoning. It's a... Pardon. 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 What is the meaning of pardon. pardoning? Mm -hmm. Yes, what the meaning? Pardon. pardon. Please, pardon. It's forgive. Ah. Forgive? Ah. It's when the... Another way to say forgive. <laughs> when the life <laughs> of the turkey is pardon. When the life of the turkey is pardon, exactly, Patricia. Oh. The thing is that in the U.S., right, in the U.S., uh you have to kill the turkey right when it's thanksgiving right but sometimes you have to pardon right the turkey pardon thanksgiving turkey and usually in the u.s right the president does that right the president mm -hmm. uh, we can see i i can see here on youtube you just need to look for Pardon Thanksgiving Turkey, and you will see the ceremony in which uh, Obama, Biden, uh, even Trump actually pardoned the Turkey. Right? Let me show you really, really quick. Just look at this. Here, they are pardoning the Turkey, right? This is Biden, right? These are other Please. presidents. This is John Kennedy. Right. Good eating, Mr. President. Oh, this is. <laughs> I really hate Obama, that, uh, right? Turkey. <laughs> yes, they are pardoning the turkey. So this turkey is not killed. This one, it's specifically this one. Then the other ones in the U.S. They are. <laughs> Just uh, it's not I look right? turkey. Mm -hmm. This this turkey is an spe an special type of. Turkey, and it's the I same think. turkey in, in exactly. It's an elegant turkey. It's an elegant <laughs> turkey. Yes. It's an old turkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's an elegant turkey. That's the pardon. Right? You please pardon me. And actually, you say instead of saying sorry, you can say pardon me. <laughs> oh. This white turkey. All oh, his family is is killed, but. Not him. <laughs> Not him. Yes. Not him. Yes. Now tell me here. Um, why do Americans celebrate Thanksgiving? Do you remember that? Uh -huh. Why do Americans celebrate? Celebrate Thanksgiving and uh, start it because they want to um to make a ceremony. Uh, to, thank. Uh, to thank, to thank, uh, to thank for the to survive. I think because the winter was was uh, hotter, mm -hmm. and and I think that the Indians uh, they was 
a very good person because they was uh, <coughs> they used to survive to to that um, environment to survive mm -hmm. and the pilgrims not and they teach they teach, teach it. they taught taught <laughs> They teach, they taught. <laughs> I'm they, sorry. <laughs> grants, grants, mm -hmm. right? And uh, uh, I mean, um, they give us all um, conocimiento, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge to survive. Exactly. And, but yes, that uh, poco. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it lasted just for a few days yes that's right okay perfect now before we finish right any comments about today's class i think it, it was very interesting because i didn't know the history about thanksgiving and i would like uh, to could you share the, the history that we listen uh, mm -hmm. just to, to study more. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more on that. A little yeah. bit more. The history. <laughs> will do, will do. I will share with you. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Teacher, I, I think that the, um, that cla these classes are uh, very interesting because you have, uh, you are having we read and pay attention and uh, take some notes and um, <laughs> that uh, it's important uh, to improve our listening, uh, speaking and yeah. all the knowledge uh, in English uh, that is important. And uh, I think we are grateful for, uh, for you <laughs> yes I, I'm in agreement with Patricia because uh, I like I enjoy uh, too much this dynamic or, or these strategies I, I don't know how to call that but um, because we we have the opportunity to talk and that's the way we learn English to practice and practice again and practice and practice and speaking, so, yes. I feel grateful for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. So hopefully in the next group yeah. or in the next classes, right, we get to practice a little bit more, right? With more speaking, because I like to talk, so. <laughs> and I like <laughs> for you to talk too. I not only grammar, grammar is good. I love grammar, but. Yeah, we need uh, grammar. We need <laughs> to know grammar. We need to know grammar, but we need to speak, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay, yeah. guys. Thank you, it's been a pleasure, right? So I will see you when I see you, right? <laughs> I see you when I, on Monday. Nah. <laughs> I see you when I see you, and let's hope we can see each other in the next course, okay? In the advanced level. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. teacher. Thank you, guys. I, I hope I hope you were you will be our teacher again. Hopefully, uh, yes. Me too. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher, for all oh, this level was uh, really productive. I don't know how to say. Yes, it was very. Yeah, productive. we learned a lot. <laughs> yes. <Thank you. laughs> and we are survivor. <laughs> <laughs> survivors of my classes survivor English classes <laughs> okay guys okay, well, thank you very have much. a beautiful weekend enjoy with your families right and have a beautiful night too thank, thank you, you. Okay, bye bye, bye. thank you bye bye thank you bye 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 bye